Thanks. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Loy. I'm a co-founder of Kyber Network, a uh, decentralized um, you know, exchange for all the cryptocurrency and tokens. Uh, but today, I'm not going to talk about Kyber. I'm uh, going to talk about Oyente, the work that I did before Kyber. Um, and Oyente is now maintained and supported by Melonpod. Um, right, so what is uh, Oyente? Wait, I think it's not working. No, it's not. Right. Um, Right, so what is ONT? Uh, ONT is a smart contract analyzer that, uh, you know, uh, based on symbolic execution. So basically, uh, you know, given a smart contract, ONT can just, you know, scan or, uh, you know, scan through the contract and, you know, find all the possible uh, vulnerabilities in your smart contract. Um, so we released the first version of ONT back in 2016, um, you know, with my team from National University of Singapore. And uh, I first present Oyente at DevCon 2 uh, in Shanghai last year. And after, um, after our, uh, my presentation, uh, Melon Port, um, you know, reached out and they wanted to support the development of Oyente. So, um, and to date, um, Oyente is available online at this uh, URL. If, you are, if you have your laptop with you, you can look, uh, check it out. Um, so here's the GitHub uh, URL of Oyente as well. Um, it's, uh, I mean, uh, Oyente is still under active development, so if you have, uh, you know, uh, you want to contribute, feel free to uh, go to GitHub and uh, start exploring. Um, right, so first of all, what is symbolic execution? Uh, the techniques behind Oyente. Uh, so I will use a simple uh, function here that, you know, get the bonus um, given some, you know, contribution amount in some token sale, right? Um, so if the amount is like, greater than 100 ether, then the bonus is 15%. Otherwise, you know, if the amount is uh, greater than 50 ether, then you get 10% bonus. Otherwise, there's no bonus for you. So if you look at this function, um, there are three main, uh, uh, there are three main branches in, in, in the entire function. Uh, you know, H is greater than uh, 100, and you know, uh, H is greater than 50 and less than 100, and H is less than 50 ether. So, Symbolic execution allows us to explore all the possible parts of the program or of, the, of, or of your functions, and uh, it will record all the you know contract behaviors in each part, right? And it will summarize all the behaviors in something called the part condition. Uh, here you will see that for every part, we will have the condition for the input to drive the contract or the program to to that part, right? Um, so with this summarized uh, part condition, uh, with this summarized um, part condition, we can we can easily check if some pro uh, some property is violated. Um, so for example, we can check whether if you know H is less than fifty and you know the bonus is still greater than zero. Um, so the way we do it is that we encode all the part condition and also the property that we want to check in some uh, theorem proving language and. And you know we use some theorem prover or solver to check the feasibility. Um, what's going on? Uh, okay, right. So we can check. We can use the theorem prover or solver to check the feasibility of you know the uh, you know property violation. Um, right. So uh, this is the main architecture of Oyente. So ONT works with you know the EVM bytecode, and uh, it also like, takes the Ethereum state uh, into account. Um, so given the bytecode, uh, it will generate the uh, control flow graph of the contract, and uh, it will use symbolic execution to explore all the possible path. And you know for every part, uh, we will just analyze uh, to see whether you know some property is violated, um, and. Uh, of course, we, we use the theorem uh, solver here to, to check that. Um, and if, if ONT flags any bug, then there is a validator uh, component to check whether the, the bug is you know, found positive or not. Um, so what is the main difference between ONT and you know, other formal verification techniques? So ONT um, basically you know, try to find all the possible parts in the program 
and see whether you know some bug or some pro property is violated. Um, on the other hand, you know formal verification allows you to formally prove that you know if uh, you know some uh, the, the the correctness of some runtime property of your contract or program, right? So oriented doesn't. Um, um, ONT doesn't guarantee the, the absence of some bug, right? It just say, you know, I have checked, you know, this many parts in the program, and you know, uh, these are the, the bugs that I found. Um, on the other hand, you know, uh, ONT is is easy to use, and you know, works for most of the existing smart contract. Um, but for formal verification, you know, sometimes you know it doesn't work automatically, so maybe it requires some people like Yoichi or you know uh, some other pre uh, previous presenter to to you know, configure the program and you know, uh, run it with the uh, tool. Um, and right, so what are the new features that we support in ONT after the DevCon presentation? Um, I will quickly walk through all of them. So the first one that we support is you know checking the assertion uh, viol violation in in the program. Um, so you know. D d Developers, they you know sometimes they make some subtle mistakes, right? They 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 are not even aware of that. So, for example, this is a simple uh, function that transfers the token from you know the the sender to the receiver. Um, so, any of you can detect you know the major problem in this function. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, this is this should be uh, minus. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, right, right. So I can just quickly fix it. Uh, but there is an right. Uh, right. Sorry. This is the naive bug. Right. Uh, there is more subtle bug. Sorry. What? Right, uh, this is another naive bug, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, another naive bug. <laughs> mm, not really. Okay. Right, so what happens if sender and receiver are the same? So this guy can just you know print more token out of thin air, right? So this is really subtle, and you know it happens in one of the contracts that we have audited before. Um, so with ONT, uh, it can check you know the uh, this you know if we add some assertion here, and ONT can check whether this assertion is violated before you even deploy the contract on the mainnet or testnet. So I can just quickly show you the, the demo. Um, Right, this is another naive bug. <laughs> right, um, so this is the um, the live version of ONT. It's at uh, you know ONT.melon.network. So you can just click to compile with. Right, click to ONT and analyze. Oh, something's wrong. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, I I get back to it later. But you know, <laughs> right? Uh, but basically, you know, you can uh, with Oriente, you can check, you know, whether some assertion is violated uh, before you know you even like deploy the contract to the uh, mainnet or testnet. Um, Another another um, feature that we support is you know hoop, uh, loop handling. So if you ever you know work with you know uh, program an analysis, you will know that you know handling loop is you know a, a nightmare, right? Because basically you know loop uh, can just force the analyzer to run forever, um, and you know it makes the the program termination non-deterministic. So this simple uh, function here can just make you know ONT run forever because. We have like no idea like what is the land uh, here, right? 
what is the length of the value x, of, 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 of the array x. So in ONT, we uh, handle loops in different ways. Um, so first of all, we, uh, we allow uh, the user to specify the gas limit. Uh, so ONT, we just uh, keep exploring the program until the gas limit is, is uh, reached. Um, we, we also like, allow user to specify the number of iteration that they want the loop to be uh, to, to, to run, right? Um, so here's the argument that, that you can use. Um, ONT, um, user can also like, specify the timeout um, that they allow ONT to run. So after that timeout, ONT will just you know, stop. Um, another, um, another thing that we added after the DEF CON 2 is you know, uh, making ONT more dynamic. So, so uh, when, you, um, when you analyze, so ONT is based on, based on static uh, simulate execution. So that means we only care about uh, the contract itself. We do not care much about the environment uh, outside of the contract, right? So for example, if the contract calls another contract, then we do not like analyze the, 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 the contract that you know, this contract is calling. Um, so with ONT, we allow user to set up a customized blockchain or environment. Um, um, so you know, so you know, when this contract call another contract, then ONT will go uh, to that contract as well and analyze it. So um, this is how um, how you can specify the environment uh, to to work with ONT. So it's, it looks complicated, but basically you can uh, specify the gas limit the difficulty of the block, um, the transition data uh, that you, know, you, you want uh, to, to, to send to the function. Um, you can also specify the account state, including you know, the balance and the storage of some account. Um, so there are a bunch of new features that we are planning to add. Um, the first one is to generate all the test cases. Uh, because you know, ONT visit all the you know all the possible parts of the program, right? And it records all the behaviors of the program. So it is possible for ONT to generate the corresponding input that drive the program um, to to the same part. So basically, you can you know use all the all the generated input um, uh, as a test case uh, for your smart contract and use it in other framework like Shuffle. Um, we also plan to like simpli uh, simplify all the constraint uh, in the part condition. So, for example, if you if you have two co uh, condition like you know x is greater than zero and x is uh, small uh, less than two, then we can uh, simplify it to you know x equal to one. So that will reduce the time that we query the the, the solver or the theorem prover. Um, we also like want to reduce the the number of font uh, positive reports. Um, in order to provide more helpful feedback to the de uh, developers. Um, so these are the, all, the, all the new features that we are going to add in the, in the near future. Right, so with that, I want to conclude my presentation. And again, this is the URL to the GitHub um, repo, and ONT is available online. Uh, these are all the main developers of ONT uh, that have uh, you know, been uh, contributing to the project. And again, thanks to Melonport for sponsoring and you know, for the support so far. Thank you. Sorry this wasn't working.